Hello and welcome to the AVX product video series. In this video you will learn about the AVX virtual switch. Specifically you will learn what is a virtual switch, how do I create a virtual switch on the AVX, what is a virtual port, how do I connect a VA instance to a virtual switch, how do I connect a traffic port to a virtual switch. A virtual switch is a virtual link layer that forwards traffic between Ethernet segments within a logical network based on MAC addresses rather than IP addresses. Second, the virtual switch function is supported by the AVX that facilitates inter-VA communication. A maximum of eight virtual switches are supported in the AVX. The primary uses of the AVX virtual switch are as follows. Number one, communication between a VA on the virtual switch and a physical traffic port. Number two, inter-VA communication on the same virtual switch. Number three, L2 bridge deployment for a VA. Number four, port mirroring. Let's now walk through a live demo on the AVX web UI. This is use case number one, communication between a VA on the virtual switch and a physical traffic port. Okay, navigate to Platform Network Virtual Switch. Click on the plus to add a virtual switch. Let's call it VSW1. Click on the VSW1. So now we can add a uh, VA instance. Click the plus. From the drop down menu in the VA name, let's go ahead and select VA PV1. Let's call our virtual port uh, V port 1. Hit save. Okay, so now we've actually attached a VA instance to our VSW1 virtual switch. Next, let's go back to general settings. And we want to bind this uh, virtual switch to one of the physical traffic ports. From the drop down here on the binding interface, let's select port 1. Apply changes. Okay, at this point we are done. Now we can start the VAPV1 VA instance and assign an IP address to begin sending traffic on the virtual switch out to physical traffic port 1. Let's now walk through another live demo on the AVX web UI. This is use case number two, inter-VA communication on the same virtual switch. Okay, once again, navigate to Platform Network Virtual Switch. Click the plus symbol to add a new virtual switch. Let's call it VSW2. Hit save. Let's click on the VSW2 so we can begin adding VA instances. Let's click the plus. Okay, from our drop-down menu here, let's go ahead and select for our VA, VAPV-2. And let's give it a virtual port of a V port 2. Once again, click the plus. Let's go ahead and from the drop-down select VXAG1 as our second VA instance. Let's give it V port number three as a name. Hit save. Okay, at this point we are done. Now we can start the VAPV2 and VXAG1 VA instances. Assign IP addresses to begin sending traffic on the virtual switch between the two VA instances. To conclude this video for the AVX virtual switch, you have just learned what is a virtual switch, how do I create a virtual switch on the AVX, what is a virtual port, how do I connect a VA instance to a virtual switch, how do I connect a traffic port to a virtual switch. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our next video on the AVX product.